I didn't have an intro for this video, so here it is. Won't nobody love you the way they should Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good Won't nobody check those body curtains by your neck All you of direct sales going out today this is a beautiful dress by vineyard vines in a size extra small i had featured it in a haul video where i went to a local um, pop-up consignment sale and this beading is just so intricate and i was really lucky to find that you know it was all intact or actually no not a pop-up consignment sale it was from a local consignment uh store so this is going to amanda and it's just going to be the perfect dress for you know spring and summer i mean honestly you could just wear this like anytime and then this sweater this is made well and i had just hauled this in um, a video that went up today it was my part one of my 100 pound men's thread of rescue box this was in that box although this is a women's piece it's made well mwl size large i was thinking that it was you know perhaps made well for men i didn't know if that was a thing or not yet because i know you know for a while there they were only making uh clothes for women but this is going out to val who um dm'd me on instagram while she was watching the haul and so these are both going out direct which means i'm able to sell it to people directly without any platforms and so we don't have to worry about platform fees or anything like that and that's always nice because you know i definitely save since i don't have to pay for any fees or anything like that and i'm able to pass those um savings along to my buyer so this i am shipping out for 25 dollars shipped and this one this is going to go out 25 dollars shipped as well which means i am going to be paying for the shipping i know when i first started reselling and people would say like a certain amount shipped i was like what does that mean am i paying for shipping or are they it means that the seller is going to pay for shipping and you as the buyer do not need to because it's already included in the price also i've just been doing so much shopping lately um so with all these bags and like little plastic bag poly mailers um, let me know if you guys want to see a haul of things that I've personally bought from, you know, stores like Everlane and Anthro. Um, I can do like a little haul, like a non-thrifted haul of stuff that I've been purchasing for myself, um, as well as, you know, just uh, buying stuff off of Poshmark and whatnot. So my goal is to reuse as much of this as possible, even though it says Everlane, even though it says Anthropology and whatnot, the bags are still in great condition and, you know, as much as we can reuse stuff. I want to do that. So I'm going to get to shipping. One thing I wanted to show you really quickly, when I am shipping out items that have this kind of like beading detail, oh, I'm trying to see if this is a flaw. I don't think it is. It's just kind of a loose thread. But when I have items with like beading or sequins like this dress here, I don't like it if like a layer of beads or sequins is going to sit directly on top of another layer. And the reason for that is because they can kind of pull at each other and end up ruining, you know, the garment. And so whenever I have something that has a lot of intricate beading or sequins, I will put a layer of tissue paper in between just so that beads or sequins are not sitting on top of each other. It just makes me feel better about the piece while it's in transit and makes me feel like, you know, I'm able to protect it and get it to the buyer in the best condition possible. So that's just one tip when it comes to shipping as far as, you know, heavily embellished pieces with beading and sequins. I recently ordered a couple pieces from Daniela at Ivy and Blush and she used these bags to send me the items in. So I am reusing them, this one for Amanda, this one for Val. And y'all know if you've been watching my videos, I got problems with stickers, I just have so much. So I re, or not reused, but I used some stickers from my sticker collection as a way to seal up the bags. Ugh, they're just so beautiful, but I just don't use them myself very much. So there we go. I just dropped my daughter off at gymnastics and I shouldn't, but I'm gonna go inside the consignment store. I'm just gonna look for like 30 minutes, you guys. We'll see what happens.
So my husband and I just took a bunch of pictures of clothes. I did some shoes and I mainly was focused on filling up a box for eBliss. Um, but kind of like I talked about in a video that I did a few days ago about how to prep your reselling business for, you know, the fact that you're going on a vacation or on a trip. Um, one of the tips that I gave was to, if you use a company like eBliss, send in a box before you leave for your trip because most likely what will happen is, you know, that box will be received by eBliss and a bunch of your listings will go live while you're on vacation. And the best thing about those items is if that box does go live while you're on vacation, they take care of shipping if any of those items sell and they're able to do it right away because they have it, you know, they have the items in their possession. Um, even if the box doesn't go live right at the time that I'm on vacation, because you know, the trip that we're taking to New York here in a couple days, it is a lot shorter. It's only like four days that we're gone. It will go live pretty much like right after we get back, which is great too, because when I get back, I'm still going to be kind of just like on like trip hangover, you know? So it'll be nice to have kind of those built in listings that go live without me having to do any more additional work. Um, so I'm stoked. I think I have like 25 items in that box and really great pieces. Um, and what I'm gonna work on right now, my husband just left to pick up the kids. My son is in like a summer camp. He thought that when we told him that he was going to summer camp, he thought that that meant he was going like camping, like in tents and stuff. And we're like, okay, basically we're just going to school. Like it's just school. Um, and then my daughter has been in gymnastics for the past few hours. So he went to go pick them up. I am going to try to get a few listings knocked out. And basically just throughout the day, I'm gonna to try to list as much as possible. We're also gonna be trying to like finalize our plans for New York. I am going to see my best friend. She lives there and um, just had a baby not too long ago. And so really the point is to spend as much time with them as possible. So um, she sent me a few recs. I have a bunch of recs from those of you who sent me some on Instagram. So I'm super excited to sit down and just kind of finalize our plans for that. Um, this is like the most boring vlog ever. I apologize, but really that's what happens in the life of a reseller. So, you know, but I will let you know, um, how many listings I was able to get up and I don't know how much more to this vlog there will be, but that's what we did today. I'm trying to drink as much water as possible. And I don't know about you. I have a hard time just like drinking water. So these are mint leaves from, let's see if you're able to see it. Do you see that like jungle in that garden bed back there? Basically 75% of that garden bed is mint. And so um, it does add a nice little, you know, minty taste to my water and i'm trying to just chug as much of this as possible the goal is to drink as much water as i do coffee <laughs> like a little bit more water than coffee if possible so i don't have any more like grand plans for the day so i'm just going to end the video here um it, it has been a little frustrating because i feel like every time i get into a groove you know i have listed and cross-listed 10 items some of the 10 items are um list perfectly or not list perfectly um eblis items but um um, you know, usually I don't have that many listings done by now. It's like 736 right now, but it has been frustrating because it's like, I'll get in a groove, I'll get a few things listed. And then one of my kids will come and ask me to do something or ask me to, uh, yeah, it, you know, it just always kind of takes me out of my A game. Um, but a show that I've been watching a lot just because it's on Peacock, that's like one of those streaming, um, streaming apps. I've been watching a lot of Modern Family and... The thing, I think one of the reasons why I love it so much and why I've been watching it, I actually never finished the season, but, or finished the series, but I think one of the reasons why I love watching it is because the people on that show just value family so much. You know, like that's what the entire show is about, is about like um, your family and as dysfunctional as it may be, as imperfect as it may be, you know, they're your family and you only have so much time with them. And so I think... It's been good for me to watch that show in the background. I, you know, to be honest with you, I haven't been watching a lot of YouTube, but to have that show on while I'm listening and doing different things, it is a really good reminder to me to cherish the moments that I have with my kids, especially when they want to play with me and when they want to bother me um, to help them with something or because they want to play or because they want to cuddle. 
um, I know that one day I'm going to really wish that they wanted to do those things and those days will be long gone. So um, as much as I get frustrated sometimes when I'm like, oh, just let me do my work, I have to remind myself like, you know, the real currency right now is time. And that's the one that um, at some point I'm not going to be able to make more of it. I can always make more money, but I can't ever bring back these years when the kids want me around. So um, in that light, yes, I've been trying to get stuff done, but whenever they do want, you know, me to help them with their lines for the play or to play Harry Potter or to whatever, I'm trying to just, yeah, let's do it. Like I'm trying to just put my work away because um, this will always be there, you know? So I'll leave you with that. I hope that you had more productive of a day than I did, but also I hope that you were able to kind of put your work down to when life comes calling and that you're able to attend to the other facets of your life. Cause you know, we're all more than just resellers. We have a lot more going on in our lives. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.